Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. So I am doing a tutorial review on this e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Aqua Primer Mist Clear. I've heard things about this. I've never tried it, so let's try it. I have my full makeup on and I'm going to set it with this. Let's see if this works. So the interesting thing is this ginormous bottle, which you see, it's actually the packaging I do love, is only one fluid ounce. So that is a very little amount of product for this ginormous bottle. So let's go ahead and try it. It says hold about 12. It says hold 8 to 10 inches away from the face. Let's try this. <laughs> I think I just sprayed it in my mouth. Did you see that on camera? This is like I took a water hose and just like sprayed my face. Okay, let's go really, really far away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am completely soaking wet. Completely soaking wet. Now, I guess for the sprayer to be that strong and that crazy, maybe with this primer you're supposed to be that wet. I don't know. I'm going to check in throughout the day and see if this actually helped my makeup stay down. I do want to say I am using the e.l.f. What is this called? The Makeup Primer by, by e.l.f. It's Beauty Bear under the makeup. So putting the primer underneath and then the setting spray primer on top. Hopefully it helps. But th this is flipping crazy like the way that it sprays. I would take it a two or three feet away from the face and spray it, not like what I did, and I just swallowed a bunch of product, which it does not taste good. So I will see you guys in a few seconds. Okay guys, so before I forget, I didn't read this to you. This is a water-based primer, which is great, especially if you have oily skin, you do wanna do a water base. Um, it does say, of course, hold eight to 10 inches away from the face. We saw that that was a no-no. But it's interesting because it says that I'm supposed to use it prior to putting on makeup, and then you're supposed to use it to set your makeup. So I did use this, like I said, to prime my face. And then I'm going, and then I use this as a setting spray. So it's a primer plus a setting spray, um, or throughout the day to refresh. Uh, yeah, it's really hot today, so maybe I will take this with me and refresh and just drown my face in water if I feel like I'm overheating. <laughs> I will try it one time though, only once. Okay, guys. So this is seven hours later. I did touch up my T zone with a beauty with that moist beauty blender I had. I think it had a little bit of product on it because I'm so oily because it's so hot. But it, look, if I get in close, everything else is like perfected. So I told you I would try this Elf Mist Aqua Mist for a second time. We're gonna try it right now. Right now, and hopefully I don't get slapped in the face. Let's see if it actually helps my makeup stay on. Do you guys see that? Look at this. I mean, it, it is like crazy strong. Look at this. Like I'm soaking wet. But you know what? <laughs> it actually is a little refreshing because it's so flipping hot today. <laughs> it feels like it's evaporating quite rapidly. Anyways, if this is, if this actually, I think this probably might, I, okay, so I really think that this set my makeup and I think it, feels refreshing to spray but I think I don't know if it made my makeup last I really truly think it was the primer that made my last the original primer that I put on but you know this probably added to helping lock my makeup in all day I think my makeup looks good considering seven hours later and I touched it up twice I was gonna say once I did with the with the damp beauty blender in the middle and then the other time I just like took a towel paper towel and and wiped off all the extra oil. But I think it looks good. I'm gonna give that um, that primer that I used a thumbs up. The, I, the primer that I put on before I put my makeup on, I'm gonna give that a total thumbs up and tell you that I think it's amazing. And I have been out and about everywhere today. And I think that this was pretty good.